In this video of the After Effects Fundamentals series, you'll learn how to work with text. This includes how to style text, how to create line versus paragraph text, simple ways to animate text, and you'll get a brief introduction into text animators to start getting creative with text. Remember that I have these handy visual guides that go with all the videos in this After Effects Fundamentals series. To create text, you just want to go up to the text tool up here and then click anywhere in your composition. And then you can start typing. Then to get out of the text tool, just go up to this arrow tool right here, the selection tool. Over in the character panel, you can adjust the settings of your text. So you could change the font or the weight and you can adjust the size. If you want to reposition your text, you can just click and drag it to move it or you can go over here and toggle down the layer and then toggle down next to transform and then you can adjust any of the transform properties. To edit your text just double click on it to select it and then click again to get the cursor to edit. And use the selection tool to get out of that editing. Over in the character panel you can also change the colors of your text so just make sure that your text is still selected and then you can click to change the color. If you want to add a stroke or an outline to your text, just use this color picker right here, click it to bring it to the front, and then click it again to open up the color picker. And then let's add like a pink, I guess, and just hit OK. And then if you still don't see that outline, you just need to probably increase the stroke weight. And that's right here. So I'll just bring that up. And then you have a few different options right here in this drop down. So you can have the fill be on top of the stroke like that, or the stroke over the fill. And if you want to set the fill or the stroke to none, that's this little box right here. And also in the character panel, you have a bunch of other options for all the normal things that you can do to style text. This text is just going to be in one line, so if you were to add more to it, you'd have to hit enter to add more. I'm just going to delete this to show you how to make paragraph text. So first go up to the text tool, and now instead of just clicking to start typing, you want to click and drag to create a text area. Now you can make paragraph text. So it'll just fill the area that you've created. And then you can use the paragraph panel to align that text in any way that you'd like. If you needed to convert paragraph text back to line text or vice versa, what you want to do is go to the text tool and then right click on your text and then choose convert to point text. Even though this doesn't look like anything has changed, notice how there's no text box, a solid red line around this that we could adjust. So if you wanted to make this all in one line, you just have to go in and delete the return. If you want to convert it back to paragraph text, just go back up to the text tool, right click, convert to paragraph text. Now when you click into the text, you can see that text box that you can resize. If you toggle down next to a text layer, and then go under the transform properties, you can animate any of these transform properties, just like any other layer. So here's a simple way that you can animate text in. So I'm just going to go forward on my timeline to about 15 frames and hit the position stopwatch. So this will be the final position of my text. Then I'm gonna go back to the start of the timeline and just move this text up by dragging over the Y position. So now the text is just gonna move down like this. I also want to animate the opacity. So at 15 frames, I'm going to just turn on the stopwatch for the opacity property and then go back to the start of the timeline and bring this all the way down to zero. And now this is just going to fade in as it moves down. To make this animation a little bit better, I'm going to click and drag over all the keyframes to select them and then just select any one of the keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. And this will just smooth out that animation. Another way that you can animate text is with text animators. And in this video, I'll just give you a very brief introduction to those. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the effects and presets panel. 
and I'm going to search in the search bar for typewriter. So animate in typewriter, this is the effect that I want. So I'm just going to take this effect and drag it onto my text layer. You can see that the text has disappeared. So with this layer selected, if I hit U, it'll bring up some keyframes that were just set by applying that typewriter effect. So if I play this back, you can see that it's just going to type in each letter one at a time. That's what these keyframes are doing. So I can adjust the timing of this by sliding the keyframes. So this typewriter preset is an example of a very basic text animator that you can use to animate text. To find other text presets, I'm just going to clear out this search and then go under animation presets, then under presets, then under text. And you probably want to look under animate in or animate out, depending on what you're trying to do. And then these are a bunch of different presets that you can use. To preview these without having to add them to your actual text, you can go up to this hamburger menu and then choose browse presets. And this will open up Adobe Bridge and you can go into the text ones, animate in, and then you can just preview all of these over here. Now, some of these presets aren't that great. They're a little bit crazy. So sometimes you may actually want to create your own text presets by animating the text with text animators. And that's going to be an advanced topic for a later video, but just know that that is a possibility. There's also other creative ways to animate text, like by creating the text out of shape layers. You can check out my classes on animating text to learn more. In the next video of this series, you'll learn how to work with shape layers. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy animating.